Cyberbrainer is an online training platform designed to help individuals and teens learn the latest technologies and become certified professionals producing a comprehensive learning experience. Next determine if a condition is true or not. So what I'm going to be accepting, so where I would practically look at an example for this is say, I'm going to be hiring somebody for any position, I need to check if that particular person is over the legal age in my country. Certain countries may have the legal age or working age is 18, and there are certain countries in the Europe where the working age is 21, not 18. So, based on the statutory requirements from place to place, we may have this particular age and condition field built. Next, if I want to drill down or drill up in my organization hierarchy and find out what is called as my direct and indirect reportees. So this could be a little bit tricky. Let me go across to Carolee's profile. I don't know if Carolee has a proper team structure. Yesterday I was just floating over this, the team structure was not so good. Okay, let me take Logan McNeil then. Right and now say, let's start from Susan Steinberg. And for those who don't know this terminology, we say direct reportees are all those who directly report to Susan, for example, Alan Amelia, Katrina Bettino, and other people who are there are all direct reportees of Susan, whereas indirect reportees. If I'm going to be picking the indirect reportees of Susan, then I'll be picking not only all these four plus folks, but I will also come down and pick all of those people, including Logan McNeil and Logan McNeil's reportees as well. That is what we call it as indirect reportees. I can create a calculated field to either go up my organization chart or drill down and pick the last level indirect reportee as well. I can do either of these in my report or in my field. I can use any of them. I can pick either L3, L4, L5 level manager, or somebody in the bottom as well. I can do anything that I want to have. Alright. The next is going to be any kind of mathematical operation, including summations, counts, aggregations, aggregations like min, max, etc. All those I can do in my new calculated field. The last one. Just leave it for now, because I need to teach you a little bit more about what people were asking earlier about the related instances. So I will teach you that LRIs alone. The last one will be the LRIs in this calculated fields chapter. Clear so far. So this is going to be at a high level all the different operations that you can possibly perform in my calculated fields across different types. So what are the different functions available? So just imagine this to be similar to what you get in your Excel. In your Excel, when you are going to perform any kind of a cell level calculations, these are ideally the types of calculations that I can possibly do over here. All right, so I can have a numeric field where I can perform so many different types of arithmetic or aggregate functions. I can have text, relevant calculations, organization level stuff that we saw just a bit ago, where I'm going to be finding out my direct reportees, indirect reportees, or I'm going to look at my L3, L4, or L5 level managers. Roll up in the hierarchy and find out who's going to be my senior, most manager or person at a director level, etc. And I can have 
Next is going to be my date type of field where I can build a date where I was telling you an example of a retirement date for an employee, which is going to be like your data, birth plus 58 or 60, 65, as per the strategy requirements and your organization policies. Date constants, say, for example. Date constants is something like is on, say, the 1st of October. If you're available on the rolls, you will be eligible for a pay hike, or your pay hike is going to be effective from a certain date, which could be like the 1st of October. That is what we call it as a date, constant increment or decrement date. For example, if I'm going to be incrementing your first 90 days in the organization, then my date is going to be higher date plus 90. That's what I call it as an incremental date or a decrement date is going to be like your last 90 days or your date of date. So I'm leaving minus 90 days, whatever is your last drawn pay, etc. And the next is going to be your boolean. You're true. It can have only a binary set of values, which is going to be either true or false. And all of this again. Just park it for now. I will come to this instance level field in a little bit. We already saw multi instance and single instance. But I need to teach you one more thing called as lookup value. So we call it as lookup related instance or short terminology. We use it as we call it as LRI. All right, now. Next, I'm going to be. What I'm going to be showing is I'm going to teach you how to create a calculated field today. The thing I want you all to do is create at least two calculated fields on your own. And you can use anything. You can use the business objects of either worker or location, but it doesn't stop you from building it on any other business object as well. And the way I would go about with this. Go to the task, create calculated field, and I'm saying test or NCF. One and the business object. I'm just putting it as worker. All right. And if I look at the functions which are available here, I can do any kind of functionalities that I have over here. I can, like I said, concatenate text. Currency conversions, date constants, date difference. So many different types of operations I can do. Don't go into the lookup for now. Don't go into lookup. Let me choose a simple one as increment or decrement date. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to have my field, which is going to provide me the date which is going to be higher date plus 90. So in this particular screen over here, I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm going to have the field type as increment or decrement date. My business object is going to be worker and the date field that I'm going to pick is going to be the higher date. All right, so if you see, here already there is a field which is called as higher date plus 90. So I can even similar. I can use that. I can do anything that I want with it. This is a delivered one, but I'm going to be creating a field which is going to be higher date plus 30. And today, the activity for us. You are going to be creating similar fields on your own. Choose any type of operation that you want to do. Now I'm showing you only a very, very simple example. I'm saying date field is higher years to add or subtract, months to add or subtract and days to add or subtract, whatever I want to do. I can give it over here. But the only caveat is this again has to be a new type of field, which means when I say the value over here is higher date, I'm going to say higher date minus another field over here. 
and there are already field. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.